being able to play in such a way that people don't see you as a big enough threat that they want to vote you out but they also don't see you as necessarily like so weak and useless or like they don't see you as a goat that they can, a scapegoat they can just like take to the end and win over um i don't know and like i think that i think the the best way to play survivor right now is literally like make one big move at the early merge but it's mm -hmm. one that people can collectively get behind that you controlled yeah and then literally just lay low until like the final seven final six and then make yeah. the flashiest moves you possibly can yeah like that's literally the only way to do it you just have to stay alive for as long as you can while making like one big early thing that gets you on people's radar saying like yes that was because of me you know and yeah. then everything else sorry one sec everything else that you do just as long as you're not like one you don't get seen as just like an easy vote and two you just like have a way to just like fucking dunk on everyone at the final five final four you know yeah. like that's how you win survivor these days that's that's all it is and you know what now that i'm thinking about it i realize like the reason I, one of many reasons I would be so horrible at Survivor is because I feel like in order to win, you need to be self-aware of how other people are perceiving you, but also self-confident, if that makes sense. Yes, 100%. Like, like you have to have confidence that you are correctly assessing the situation, but you also have to, and you also have to be aware of like, okay, what what what's the vibe I'm giving off to other people? Do they just think I'm like a dumbass? Do they think that I'm like some big strategic mastermind? Like it's just like constantly reassessing your relationships with others. But my thing is that I overthink and I have anxiety. So I would be cons I would ooh, I would be a mess. I would just be constantly like, oh my god, they hate me. Oh my god, they're gonna vote me out. I would be that that paranoid player who wasn't going to be voted out, but then is voted out because they were so paranoid. Rip. Like that would be, that would totally be me. Friggin rip. So it's a, it's a tricky um, balance that it's, I'm always really impressed when people are good at striking that balance. I feel like for and me- And I don't know, you can also correct me if you're like, no, I, I don't agree with what you said think, at all, Aaron. I think you <laughs> don't give yourself enough credit because you are pretty aware of like yourself and others. You know, mm -hmm. I think, you know, there, there are plenty of reasons why people succeed or fail on the show. But yeah, like, yeah. I think one of the best skills to have is just to be so authentically you and not tell a lie until the merge. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Like, just don't lie at all. Because frankly, it's not that hard to not do that until the merge. Like, those early votes, those tribe votes, like, yeah. There's no I, reason I, to be sus. There's no reason yeah. to be shady in the early part of the game. Unless right. you, like, absolutely feel like you're in serious danger. And even then, like, on 44, uh, there's the castaway Josh, who, like, literally just lied about, like, his job for whatever reason. And it's like, yeah, okay, I get it. If you're a surgical podiatrist, then yeah, that is in fact a job that involves being very smart and very good with your hands. But yeah. like, I would feel like you would want to garner trust with your allies more than be afraid of them thinking you're too smart. Cause you know what? You can be a doctor and be dumb as fuck, you know? Yeah. That, yeah, honestly. Honestly, I think if I ever got on the show, one of the biggest things is that I would not lie that I am a graduate student. But I would only say, I think the main thing I would sort of emphasize is that I just work hard to get there. Because I I am not a straight A student. Uh, I did not get straight A's in undergrad. I did not graduate summa cum laude. I literally was like, my GPA was below 3.5. So you tell me, I, I mean like, it's still above a three, so it's not like it's, you know, below a three, but I'm not the 
the genius savant who just like knows things and whatnot. I just happen to be really disciplined. That's it. And that's like yeah. all I would pitch it as because that's literally what it is. I, I only got to where I am through saying yes and taking on too many projects at once. That's literally it. What I wouldn't yeah. say is that I tell them, oh, I also know how to make friends with the right people, but. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't mention how, like, oh, by the way, I'm really good at networking and, like, <laughs> making friends with all the right people. I mean, it's just, like, at some point, you can only be so smart, right? Like, you look at the brain tribe on Kagayan. Yeah, they're smart, but, like, you know, what do you do there? They're, yeah. They're, I would, I would, I think the thing that I would advertise about myself more than anything else would just be to, like, make it clear that, my strengths that I can offer are gluey. You know, I can do a little of everything. I'm not the smartest person there. I'm not the strongest person there, but I won't be the weakest. Yeah. Yeah. If you need me to do the puzzle, okay, I, I'm happy to do the puzzle. If you need me to do... If you need me to do the swimming part, yeah, I can swim. I'm not the greatest swimmer, but I'm not, like, the worst swimmer. That's for damn sure. You need me to lift stuff? I mean, I can lift stuff. I'm not going to be the strongest person. I'm not, like, the football player. Are you kidding me? I'm not a bodybuilder. But I'm yeah. not. it's not like I'm not athletic. Yeah. I like to think that I'm really... I, I do worry that I think I would fall into a leadership position almost. I do worry about that where it's like... I could. Uh, yeah, I could see that happening. I do worry that, like, I'd become the heart, you know? Yeah. But... Yeah... I could see that happening for sure. You know, like, everyone talks about how, oh, no one wants to be the heart, but the heart's what keeps the body alive. The heart's what pumps blood to people, you know? True. The, True. the, the fucking heart is what keeps the brain and the muscles alive, so you gotta have some kind of heart, you know? You gotta be the charismatic one at some point. Ah! True. Oh. Ah! oh, the lions are on the clock. Oh boy. Who are the lions gonna pick? Who's it gonna be? Where do I get the the thing to put out the fire here? That's oh, I bet I know. Hang on, I could do this. Yeah. I got a stray bead. I got the stray bead. But yeah, ultimately my issue with modern survivor is that they have no faith in the cast to make interesting TV moments. And so they manufacture TV moments by working backwards. And as a result, uh, we are left with like moments where, yeah, they're good TV, but like they're inauthentic. And that really sort of drives away why I enjoyed the show so much in the first place. I mean, if you want the best episode to watch to start, watch the premiere of Pearl Islands, the season yeah. seven, episode one. If you do not like that, you won't be hooked. And that's okay. You don't have to like the shows that I like. Like, there's nothing wrong with having your own opinions. But Survivor Pearl Islands is the best season to start someone on. Because it gets them into some strategy. It gets them into the survival. It gets them into classic characters. It's hard to go wrong with that season. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, it hooked me. It hooked me, that's for sure. Yes. Fapping around. Yes, part of that might have also been Voltage's enthusiasm for it. Uh, was infectious, but it's also just really good TV. Yeah. 44 is not the worst season ever, but I'm just so no. tired of every single twist. Like, there don't need to be that many twists. The season would be a million times better if they just let the players do their thing. You know, yeah. that's that's literally all I can say. That's my only mm -hmm. critique of this season. The fact that, like, the two votes that have had, like, no advantages or idols or twists or anything like that have been two of the most interesting TV episodes speaks a lot to the cast. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just feel like they don't trust their players to do anything TV worthy anymore, which is disappointing because so many seasons were made on people just doing their thing. Yeah. Like that was the whole 
that was kind of the whole premise of the show, really, or the whole, like, appeal of the show. So, that's my gripe, but I still want to be on. I won't, I won't say much more than that, but I would really yeah. like to be on, just yeah. so I could, like, play my game and, and be like, well, let's see if my cynical fucking attitude towards how to play the game of Survivor <laughs> is really accurate, because if it isn't, then... You know what? Maybe I stand corrected. But if it is, yeah. I would be like, haha, I told you so. And you can <laughs> come back to this in the postseason, you know, press, and you can say, wow, I can't believe that you knew how you were going to win the game of Survivor. And, <laughs> and if I lose, then you can say, wow, you look like a fucking idiot. That you dumbass. You really thought you'd win? <laughs> Dude, imagine thinking that you have any chance at winning Survivor. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, bro. Dude, I would get voted out in fifth. That's where I got voted out in all my orgs. I got Aww. I played like 40 orgs. I straight up played 40 orgs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Woo! Oh boy. That was fun. Uh I played orgs, the online reality games. I played 40 of them. About 40 of them. Between 2015 and 2018. 24 no, 2013 and 2018, excuse me. You know, while you were out hanging out with your friends in high school. I was PMing people on pro boards and Envision free boards and saying, haha, we should blindside this person um, like a like a fool. Mm. And, uh, you know, look how that turned out. I only won once. I took fifth place eight times. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you, know? you, you tell me, right? Like, was it a yeah. good use of my time? I don't know. Uh, I will say it definitely made me more emotionally aware of myself. That's for sure. Uh, it definitely made me more aware of, like... Oh, fuck, the Lions and Cardinals traded. I was gonna say, I'm not seeing the Lions pick yet, so I guess, uh... Huh. Lions and Cardinals traded. Well... <sighs> Lions, what's she gonna do? Okay, I just came out of there, so let's go this way. So yeah, I would like to play. I feel very confident in myself and my abilities. I did not mean to bite that horse's ass. But, I do think I could win. I do think I could win. In fact, I know that I could win. If given the proper circumstances, anyone can win the game. It's luck. It's always luck. You can't control who you play with when you play the first time. And half the That's time, true. most of the time, you don't get a second time. So you can't control who you are playing with. You cannot control what twists are in the game. You cannot control like anything about your season beyond what you do with your vote and the people you make friends with. That's literally yeah. it. So when people say, oh, there's always a way out of things, I don't agree. Like the idea of Survivor is it so luck-based? Yeah, absolutely. You cannot just, like, assume that the average best player is always going to, quote, win the season. The quote-unquote person who played the best game will not win Survivor every single time. That's just how it works, especially with the way that, like, twists work and advantages work and the way that they are pushing for the show to go. It's impossible for the best player to win every single time. And if you yeah. think that that you, no matter what, should be able to find your way out of something, you're wrong. Because sometimes you do get swap fucked, and that's just how it goes. That's yeah. happened to me in a game before. A couple games, in fact. So, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. That's my another rant about Survivor. Hot take. Hot survivor take. Like, I don't think that's so much of a hot take, though, right? Like, I don't think so either, actually. I, I hope it's, it's not a pretty, hot take. I think it's a pretty, you know, well-reasoned I would be standard. shocked if that's a hot take. Because honestly, if it is a hot take, I want to know why people think that the best player each season is the one who wins this, is the one who wins the game. And I mean that in the sense of the person, when I say best... I mean with the caveat that, like, they played the flashiest, most dynamic, most manipulative, most, quote, outwit, outplay kind of game, you know? 
because I, I I guess what I I do also believe in that the person who wins the season happens to also be quote the best player like they just happen to be the best player for their season so yeah with that asterisk in mind let me just let me reiterate that quote the person who plays the the most ambitious and impressive game from a visual perspective from a tv perspective from a i'm playing okami so it's hard to think of the right word perspective like the people who do that they are not going to win every single time yeah and the sooner that you can sort of make peace with that the better off you'll be i agree i agree so that's how I would play Survivor. I would just get really lucky. Yeah. I would be lucky and Easy. bad. Oh, it's the moles. Well, isn't that special? Holy. Holy moly. Oh, shit. I don't want to hit him. Oh. Watch this. I've lost him. There he is. Oh no. Oh nar. 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 Nice. Oh, this hat's a little too tight. Hold on. Uh oh. Or not take it off. Like, please. Oh. It's much nicer. I, I love how the Okami streams have just devolved into rants about Survivor. <laughs> yeah, sorry, y'all. I don't, I'm not sorry. I, it's a big part of my life and my interest. It is. No, you're right. You're right. I'm not actually sorry. I'm grateful I, that you introduced me to the show and that I get to, uh, enjoy it now. Ah. I gotcha now. Wait, what? That's not it. Oh shit, come on. Oh. Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? There he is. Where the fuck is this bloke? Nope, that's not it. I thought I had it. Oh, there he is. Am I just directionally challenged? Like, what the heck? Uh... I don't think so. I don't think you are in this circumstance. I think it's just kind of tricky when you can't see it all at once. Like, he curves. It's weird. This is not easy. He was right behind me, wasn't he? He's right behind me, isn't he? I'm sorry this is not impressive gameplay, folks. I hope you're not too bored. You're good. You're you're doing great. You're doing your best, and that is what matters. Can't get me. Aha! Let's go. Nice. I'm literally just gonna sit by one until it comes up. Nope. 
the molsters, not the molesters. Well, thank God for that. This is the optimal strategy. You just sit like a good dog, get nice and comfy. And you know, when that moment comes, oh. you just, you just, it's you right strike. Me, and isn't he? He's right behind me, isn't he? like the music in Okami. Yeah, it is really Very good. Nice. Oh yeah, let me check on the draft. Raiders are Cardinals, picking in. Cardinals pick Paris Johnson Jr. Yep. Is there a, a I... pattern? I forgot that draft, like the real NFL draft, like takes a long time. Oh, it takes fucking forever. It takes forever because I'm only used to my freaking uh, fantasy, I was going to call it Final Fantasy, my fantasy football drafts where like half the people in our um, in our group are just like auto picking and the other half like know exactly who they want, have it all lined up like huh, goes a lot quicker. Who would have thought? Yeah. I think you just have to guess. I don't have a good strategy for this. Oh fuck, I go. was oh, right there. Uh, you're so close. It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna get it. You know what game I just started playing. What'd you start playing? You're not you're not gonna like it. What'd you play? It's the you know, um, the team that made Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact third. Mi Hoyo? Yes, or Ho Hoyoverse as they now go by. They Did just Did you start came playing out. the sushi game, the food game? No, 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 no. Uh, they just came out with a game called Honkai Star Rail. And um I wasn't gonna download it, but then I did because there are characters in it that are like alternate universe versions of characters in Honkai Impact 3rd. Oh, oh, oh. But I will say, I will say, one, first of all, this game uses um, turn-based combat, which I actually appreciate Based. as someone who is slow and who likes to be able to think things through sometimes. Um, and Come also... On. It's it's got jokes. Um, like what did I the had... what did the pumpernickel say to the the rye? No, more like there's this like genius um, person who you talk to and they talk about how they've got this cool new idea for um, an augmented reality universe and they want to call it the metaverse. And one of the options that you can <laughs> choose to respond to that person is just like don't don't buy into the hype of the metaverse like they're very <laughs> they're very tongue in cheek they're very tongue in cheek yeah or like someone asks you what the meaning of what you think the meaning of life is and like 42 is one of the answers like it's clear they're they're having a good time with this they're having a grand old time with it where the hell yeah. is the dude I don't know I'm, if I'm I'll about stick to walk with this away game, from this. But if you need to, do what you gotta do. Oh, he was in the. <gasps> Lil Molly, aww.
I mean, what do I do? I mean, what am I just supposed to wait? Um. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I give up. I surrender. Bye. Yeah, that's okay. There they are. Off having their grand old time. show them like i just can't trace where they're going that's i mean that's it i i don't know what else i can say at this point so do you want me to try to look up if there's like a trick to it that's helpful yeah, but I'm, or... gonna, I'm gonna go do something else because okay. i don't want to be okay yeah. yeah 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 i get that i get that take a break yeah do something diff see you're cold but i'm hot because i'm wearing three layers oh that is the struggle and I've got that thing that happens where after talking for a while, uh, my nose gets super like congested. So I'm gonna uh -oh. uh, get some water. So I'm gonna be right back. I need to get more water. Okay. Close the blinds while you're doing that. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Back to biz, back to biz. Woo. All right. Falcon's pick is in. Who'd the Falcons take? We don't know yet. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's fine. All right. It's fine. Uh, I think this is to the uh, that other town, but I'm just going there. I'm going around and I'm trying to get, like, enough praise to where, like... I can level up my ink pots. So, if I get if I get more, like that's cool. If I don't, that's well, that's why we stream. We explore the game. Yeah. So, it is what it is. We also started watching Yellow Jackets. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. And very good. What do you think of Yellow Jackets? 
quite like it. Um, as evidenced by the fact that I asked you if you'd want to watch it with me mm -hmm. because I watched it and was like, whoa, yo, this is pretty cool. So for those of you who don't know and weren't here on Monday, Yellow Jackets. Oh, let's get the Infinity Judge. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Yellow Jackets is a TV show about a girls soccer team who crash in the middle of the Ontario mountains, mountain range, and have to survive in 1996. And they also, some of them are alive in 2021. So we know kind of that there's something happened out there, but we don't know what. And so part of the whole mystery of it all is trying to figure out like, what's, what's the deal? What happened out there, you know? And uh, it's quite an interesting show. I really enjoy it. We're at episode eight of season one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a really like- we just like... finished it, rather. Oh yeah. Finished episode eight. Two episodes left to go in season one. And then I think there's four or maybe five episodes of season two that are out. Season two is currently airing. I think there's five now, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, and it's good. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it scratches the itch I've been craving of uh, drama where teens do bad things to each other. Yes. I've missed that. I need that in my life. I love that shit. Dude, um, it's like Dang and Rapa been in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. There's also just like a lot of characters that are real interesting there's definitely some characters where you're like oh this character is not a good person but they're also kind of fun like listen misty has done a lot of bad things misty's a little sus she ain't quite right she's but... a little uh <laughs> She's a little She's... self self interested. Yeah, but you know what? We love her. We still, you know, she's still fun. She can do no wrong, most of the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, she, everything she does, she does for her friends, kind of sometimes. Just like me, everything Just I do like is you. for my friends. Exactly. I fight for my friends. I fight for my friends. That's what I got. I gotta finish Fire Emblem fucking Blazing Blade. Oh yeah, you do. You do need to do that. Oh. Yes, and you will. Oh. That's fun. That's a good gag. I'm glad we, that found, is. we found that. All right, Eagles yeah, pick cute. is in. Who did the Eagles pick? Oh. Wait, what? The eagles picked already? Yeah, it sounds like it. Did they trade up to they get a They traded higher... up with the bears. Oh, okay. The bears traded okay. one back. Okay. Which is annoying. I don't want the bears to do that. Mm. Yeah, I don't I want love the that. bears to fail miserably. You want them to suffer. You want them to do real bad. <sighs> but instead, it's the Vikings who are just sort of meandering I don't know what Maybe I it'll be okay it'll be fine it's just like well I really don't want the Vikings to draft Hendon Hooker because I don't think Hooker is the right call mm. in general I think that Hooker would is like a good not in the first round Interesting. Do you, are you, it sounds like you're worried that they are going to pick him. Has yes, there been talk I, that that's. Yeah, a lot of people think that the Vikings need a new quarterback because they're not extending Kirk right. and they want like right. someone to learn from Kirk, you know? And it's like, well, mm, yeah. I just, I don't like Hooker's play. Hooker's been not great, just like me and Okami. I'm not very good at it. 
That's okay. I'm working on it. You're working on it. You're learning as you're going. It's your first time playing. Yeah. So, like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens here. All I know is that the fact is they didn't trade up to the number three spot to draft one of those quarterbacks. So, like, I guess it could be much worse. That's true. That is a good point. I should have thankfulness for that. Yeah, be thankful. Be thankful that your football team, like, woo. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. Platforming in this game is hard because I don't know where I'm going to land. Oh, yeah. That's fair. This music is That's good. Very fair. Music is quite good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. In other but yeah, news, yellow. Yellow Jackets oh, yeah, sorry. is great. It's pretty good. It's definitely like... Don't watch before bed because I've had some nightmares since watching the show, but. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's definitely, <laughs> there's definitely some nightmare material in there. That That is for sure. I just don't like the idea of like seeing eyes in the middle of the night. There's like a jump scare that happens where like, there's this little kid who's watching one of the characters from the closet and you could only see his eyes and it's like, oh, fuck you. Yeah, that was really freaky. I was I was not a fan of that. Yeah, and that really bothered me. That really threw me off. Understandably, it was so. just like a jump scare. It was like, oh. If a kid ever did that to me, I would like scold them and be like, what are you doing? Quit that. Or you'd you'd scold to them almost not good not good i admire okay. the attempt it's all right i, admire I the attempt. tried yep I admire that's the all attempt. i can do all i can do i admire the attempt okay let's do this here we go <sighs> what's even over there anything good Come on now. There's gotta be something. No, it is daytime. Okay, here we go. I will do it this time. You got this. I'm confident in your abilities. Thank you. Here we go. Yep. Yep. There we go. Yes. Perfect. For a stray bead. Okay, there's another chest. There's, there's another also some chest. some chickens to feed. Some cocks to feed. Eagles pull it. We got some hungry cocks here. The eagles pick Jalen Carter. That's probably oh. what I expected them to take. Take the best player on the board. All right, what are you? Ooh. What are you? Sun fragment. That's actually good. See, that seems, yeah. That seems a piece important. of heart. Okay, so it was like, you know, meant to be a tricky challenge. Yeah. It wasn't just me being just inept at video games. Nah. What? Sorry, empathetic falling. Oh, you're good. All right, so they got Jalen Carter. Bears pick is in. Who did the Bears pick? They probably picked that uh, offensive guard from, or yeah, offensive tackle from uh, Northwestern. Oh. Probably that guy. If I had to guess. Because they need they need people to supplement Justin Fields because he's, he's not got uh, enough guard. No, nah, they just it's not that Fields is bad, it's just that like he has literally nothing to help him, you know? Yeah, that's fair. 
It's like, I'm going to wait one more year before I reserve any judgment on Justin Fields. Sure. And that's true. Like, if, before I even if you're a good player, pattern. if you don't have other people to back you up, it's difficult. Yeah. Like, if you don't have an offensive line, you're just going to be a bad quarterback. I'm sorry. It's true. So, Bears, I'm going to I'm gonna see what the Bears do. Bears have a lot of picks in this draft, so we're going to see. We are going to see. We shall see. What's been your favorite part about Yellow Jacket so far? Ooh, that's a good question. I have I to stretch my, my favorite... face a little bit. Yeah, keep going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretch that face. I think my favorite part of Yellow Jackets so far... There's a lot that I've really liked about it. I think one of the big things that I like about it is just the concept of going back and forth between the night, like 1996 when the crash happened and sort of modern day or 2021, which is when it um, aired. Because you haven't seen Lost, right? Because I haven't seen okay. Lost, no. Yeah. So this, so like a lot of the things that I'm sure they've in, been inspired from, like from Lost and done are things that are all new to me. Um, but so I really like seeing how the characters have, like those that we see as adults, how they've grown up and like, like you, how you can kind of tell how they've been living their lives since being stranded in the wilderness mm -hmm. for 19 months. Like, Natalie, like you, like fully adult Natalie in the present, has such like a worn face. Yeah, and that's not me saying like that the actress is not like attractive or anything. No, it's just they me definitely, saying that, they like, definitely did make up. Like it's yes, they made they wanted her to look like someone who has struggled a lot with. Abuse, drugs drug abuse. and alcohol and drug abuse yeah and has had a really hard time like you can see the struggles that she's had like on her face and i think that's really kind of cool to see i don't know if that's the right way to put it from an it, from um, a per, like character perspective you from know. a character perspective like, yeah it's, yeah it's clear that this is fiction obviously so it's not like yeah you're not, you're not advocating right. for like, oh, I like seeing no. someone having a drug problem, no. you know, like, yeah, no, you're no, good. no, you're absolutely good. not. You're good. Um, but also just seeing the ways that different characters like coped or like what they went on to do with their lives and then getting these. I, I like I like shows that give you the the back and forth with like the glimpses of the past or like. More than glimpses, I guess, because you get like half the show in the present and half in the past. But I also just I love teen drama or like young adult drama. I love some bullshit in the woods. Um, yeah, it's fun. Also, as like scary as Yellow Jackets can be at times, it's also like really funny. Yeah, <laughs> like it has some really funny moments. Um, and I quite like that. Quite agree. They they do well with capturing, like, these are teenagers, even though, you know, they're, the actors are all in their 20s. The high schoolers, like, there's no high schoolers actually on the show. They're all in their 20s. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's any actual, like, teens. Which is, like, okay. that is okay, probably for the best. Oh, I also like that uh, the actress who plays uh, Jackie was hanging out with Hideo Kojima. Yeah, what? The, I like that. So what's the context <laughs> behind that? I have no idea. I was trying to figure that out, but I, I think that's neat. Um, yeah. I'm very confused about that. Like, I feel like Kojima just sort of like hangs out with a, or like meets up with a very just eclectic mix really of people does. and celebrities. Hideo Kojima is like, I think he wanted to be a movie director. 
but he just makes games now, but then he also has developed such a reputation that, like, he may as well be a famous movie director, you know? True. Yeah. Yeah. A Hideo Kojima game. It, it also helps, too, that apparently, again, I'm going to be playing Metal, Metal Gear Solid for myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course. I'm going to be playing that for myself in the not-so-distant future. Um, yeah. You know, the fact is he makes very prolific games with very prolific stories. So yeah. I assume people want to be in his games. Very true. Very true. All right, so the Bears drafted offensive tackle Darnell White from Tennessee. Go Vols. But <laughs> nice. the Titans have made their pick, and we'll find out what that is momentarily, I suppose. Yeah. All right, let's go and open up Seon City. I think that's the next place we have to go. Oh, okay. that's not the okay. one. Uh, Sounds good. Oh, software. No. I want to... What's my praise? I need to get 200 before I can do anything. Hmm. How do you, how the heck does someone have like more ink? Like I've been doing like all the things I see, I guess. Should I? No, you don't need to look no, it up. No, I don't, I don't want to look stuff up. Yeah. No yeah. need to look it up. I'm I, just like you're a, doing it. Yeah. I'm playing it my it way. Out. Exactly. I'm playing it the way that you would play it if it was your first time playing, because it's my first time playing. I'm playing, yeah. Crazy how that works. Wild. Weird. Absolutely so wild weird. that someone who's who never thought? played it before uh, doesn't know everything about it. <laughs> Nuts. Can you believe that? I can't. I can't. I'm shocked, actually. I. Um, that's not the content that I signed up for. Yeah. I expected you to be perfect at this game from the start. Well, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, I'm just not perfect at everything I do. I'm good at a lot what? of things, but I'm not perfect. Like I said, I was never a straight-A student. I'm passable. You know what? That's that's what it is. Like, I get by, and that's, that's all I need to do. I get by on me. I get by on me. I got a lacquerware set. Oh yeah, I'm looking at my channel points and I'm remembering we need to get you that Volo cosplay. Yeah, we do. And then you need to play that game. Yeah, I do. <laughs> like, I I keep forgetting, but... Slipped my mind as well. That's okay, though. We'll get to it. Yeah. It'll be worth it. It will. It will. Oh, that's right. Let's go back to the, the bathhouse and see if there's anything new at the bathhouse. Now that Orochi is gone. I know I'm faffing around. I'm sorry. Hey, faffer's gonna faff, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds bad. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. crazy that the Texans had two picks in the top three. Absolutely wild to me. Wow. They can't keep getting away with this. Yeah. Lions on the clock. Wait, who'd the Titans go. pick? Uh, I'm not sure. My... It's still loading for me. It says pick is in. Yeah. Uh, ellipses. Honestly, if, if Christian Gonzalez is around when the Vikings pick, they should probably pick him. Because Christian Gonzalez is a pretty solid prospect for... Mm. Oh my god! That oh. did so much damage. It's a lot of damage. That's so much damage. Now what's now what are you doing? Can I dig? Can I blow up? Can I bomb? 
Okay, so you don't want to put it on top of the thing. Put it on top of the thing, Ami. Yeah, Ami, that's what good I'm girl. Now, what do you have to say, Mr. Friend? Bingo! This is Bingo. Expert Excavator Bingo. Let's dig for some treasure. Yeah, get yourself some treasure. Oh, are we doing that Diggy Mini game again? Yep. Oh, yep. Wait, hang on, and we do. Nope, hang on. And then we bloom this. And we slap. All right, and then I can do this. Cool. <sighs> and then I can do... Nice. No. Come on. No! Don't do that. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, hang on. How do I break these blocks? I don't think you can. Come on. Hold on. How hard is it to draw a circle? You know, trickier than it seems. How do I make you jump? Wait. Can I make you jump? Oh, I think I may have goofed. Yeah. All right, well, let's start over. All right, the, the Lions selected that offensive tackle that I thought that the Bears are gonna take. Hmm. No. Oh, yeah. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Come on, get up. And then we do No, you dipshit. Don't walk into the fucking thing. Uh-oh. All right. And then we do... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your, get your ink back, Ami. 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 Turn around, go up. Up.
Okay, let's try this again. You got this. Don't, don't fucking walk that way, dude. Okay, and then we do this. Uh-oh. Come on. Where is the treasure? Okay, one more time. With feeling. This is this is the one. I think the issue is that I just don't have enough ink, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the lions uh, picked Jameer Gibbs. Yep. Packers are on the clock. Tommy's having a grand old time. All right, and then we do this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? A circle around this. You are going over that, sir. I'm cutting this here. Okay, we're making we're making good progress. What am I supposed to do now, though? Uh, wait, hang on. Can I break? All right. game that much yeah that's tricky yeah it's just weird it's just weird it's just what it is all right well now we can at least make some progress in the game Progress time. Progress. 
Progress. Hang on. Uh. All right. All right, you. Why do they keep going off and on? All right, well, let's hope the camera cooperates, please. Let's try it now. Like so. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Now what have we done? Now what have we done? Uh oh. Oh no. Well, better get back to the city. Uh, uh, oh no. Well, better skedaddle. Better skip scops. Who'll do? Daytime. Damn, that bridge really be fallen. Damn. London Bridge is falling down. Okay. Oh. Well. Where am I supposed to go? Who the heck is Lucas Van Ness? He's a uh, he plays for Iowa. Uh yeah. Well, now he plays for the Packers. Now he plays for the Packers. Yeah. He's a two-time all-academic Big Ten, so he's a smarty, too. But he goes to Ooh. the University of Iowa, so he can't be Ooh, that yeah. smart. Zinger, spoken <laughs> as a... As a Iowa State child. No, good. 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 Who names a city after their state? Iowa City... Come on. Give me a break. Get real. Iowa City is a nice city. It's just like Iowa it City. It is. It is. I mean, it's... I, I, yeah. I mean, we've both been there, and we both know, like, you know, it's, it's nice. I mean, I like yeah. it for what it is, but, like, I couldn't see myself going to college there, you know? In the same way yeah. with, like, Decora. I like Decora as a city. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see myself going to college there at all. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I, um... Sometimes I look back and think about the fact that I really primarily applied to small liberal arts colleges, mostly in, like, small towns, and I'm just like... I... that would not have been good for me. I don't know why I thought I would like living in that place. No shade to anyone who does. Um, but... I liked being in Madison for college. It was quite nice. Madison was a good place to be for college. Yeah. In my opinion. It's not like a huge city, but it's, you know, decent size. Lots of stuff going on. Like, there's things Lakes. to do beyond the college, you know? Yes, That's one exactly. thing about Ann Arbor that, like, sometimes I think about is, like, there's only so much going on that isn't involved with the university, you know? Yes. The university is definitely, like, the biggest kind of... Draw? Thing. Yeah. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that, like, no. you know, when the two cities I lived in before this, Minneapolis and Madison, had things to do beyond the schools that were in them, it's like, yeah. well... And, like, Ann Arbor has some of that, but not as much, I feel like. 
Right. I would agree with that. But we're trying to find more. And yeah. we're trying to explore more. I need to kind of put together a list of, like, cool spots in Michigan that I'd like to visit. Definitely. Over the summer. Because there are lots of really cool places. Lots of cool, like, state parks and stuff that I'd really like to see. Yeah, definitely. State parks are fun. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Like, what's the process? I want to know, like, what the process is for how national parks, like, came to be, you know? Like, what goes into deciding what space becomes a national park, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I know that a lot of it was, like, from Teddy Roosevelt's, like, uh, like, uh, I don't remember the act name, but it was, like, something in that, like, cons conservation or whatever. Yeah. Good old Teddy Roosevelt. Rough Rider. Teddy. Teddy Rough Rider. Alright. The Steelers selected Broderick Jones. Neat. Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright, so that's the edge of that. Well, let's go back to the bridge and actually cross it now. Edge of extinction? Yeah. Quite so. Six, five, three hundred eleven pounds. Holy shit. Wow. That dude is massive. Damn. Gosh dang, dude. 311, that's twice the amount of weight of me. What the hell? Mother tree. What is that? Mother tree. Mother tree. Okay. Oh my god, there's 99 stray beads. Oh. And wait, how many uh, have you collected? I've got not 99, that's for sure. Maybe yeah. 15? Probably, if I had to guess. I didn't count them, but I probably could again if I cared to do so. But I don't care to do so. What do you have to say, Pard? What rumor? No, tell me. The huge cursed zone. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm not worried about that. I already dealt with Orochi. Who will the Jets draft? Probably another bust. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Yes, we shall. We shall. We shall. Let's purify this space. Let's purify it all, in fact. Let's get enough praise to, like, you know, level up a bit. Maybe. Potentially. Perhaps. Hmm. Perhaps. Very nice. Very good. 200 is the number I'm shooting for. Oh, there's a horse! Ada. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. The horse is here. The, the horse is here. There it is, the horse. Feed the horse. Drink the water.
All right, we now have exactly 200. Let's uh, level this up. Good, now I have more ink. Oh, yeah. Because honestly, like, I think that was the reason I was failing that digging minigame, is just that, like, I was straight up just didn't have enough ink to do it well. You know? Oh, well. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's just color all this in. To no avail. Is there another thing behind here? Come on, camera. Work with me. Work with me, camera. Work with me here. Alright, there's the last little skull head. The cow bull skull. Ah, oh, Clay's playing Breath of the Wild. Dude, Ooh. Tears of the Kingdom coming out in like two and a half weeks. Oh my god. That's right. I'm very excited. I have so many games I gotta finish before I play it, though. <laughs> but, I mean, I feel like sometimes with certain games, you just gotta let them skip the line. Yeah. You know? Real. I don't think anyone would blame you if you... If you My did. goal is to finish Fire Emblem Binding Bl or Blazing Blade before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I think that's a good goal. I think that's a doable goal, too. Yeah. He says, I also started playing Gates to Infinity on my own. And like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, it's like fine, I guess. Yeah. The the camera is way too zoomed in when you're in the dungeons to like make a meaningful battle plan. Because like I was in the third dungeon that's full of things that slow you down, and it's like I can't see how far away they are. Yeah. So how am I supposed to reasonably prepare for this? So that was something that really frustrated me was I just can't see what the fuck I'm doing half the time, you know? So. That was a little frustrating. Yeah, I mean, that is... That does sound very frustrating. But... Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, not think about that too much. Ryoshima Coast? <gasps> Ryoshima Coast?! We gotta go find the thing, the Konohana Blossom. But, like, I'm gonna keep an open mind about it, just so that I can continue playing it, but... Yeah. It is definitely not as... Uh, in-depth as the other games, I've noticed. Sure. For sure. There's no hunger in Gates to Infinity, either. Which oh. I had always considered to be, like, kind of the hallmark of the games. Yeah. There's no apples, there's no, like, anything like that. So that was definitely different. But, again, we're... I won't spoil any... I won't talk about plot beats too much, but I will yeah, just yeah, say yeah. the camera, very zoomed in. Very tricky. All right, let's stay on the edge of this cursed zone here. Oh, a new enemy. Oh. Ooh. It's a headless thing. Oh, that's... That's not I fun. do one thing. I gotta scratch my hair. Sometimes a man's just gotta scratch. I get it. Sometimes I just gotta scratch it, dude. What are you? And then we do, woo. wait, no, we do, woo. I really like the sound effects you do. Yeah, woo. Oh, wow, that took, what? Okay. Well, sure. all right then. Okay. 
All right, so there's this little hamlet over there, and then there's that inlet over there. I actually don't know what a hamlet is in terms of geography, so that cave is a cursed zone, so that's not where we're supposed to go. Honestly, I don't know what that is either. I kind of forgot that it's an actual geographical term. Yeah. Night in Ryoshima Coast. Mom? Nice. I found the spot to bomb. <gasps> it's thing. It's a thing. It's Are a you? red barrel. Can I jump on it? Um, no. Maybe not. I'm sure it's somewhat relevant. Can you bomb it? No. Well, I can just jump up here. <laughs> At the very least. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Can I do this? Yeah. Uh, that is what I needed to do. Nice. I think. I assume. At the very least. Yeah, that seemed like a it was a it positive thing. It seemed like thing. a good idea. We'll see if it was. Oh, I see what the gimmick is here. Oh, you have to then you gotta, bring the water all the way up. I get it. Who did the Jets pick? The Jets picked. Oh. Who did they pick? Who did the Jets pick? Who did pick? they pick? Who did the get dang Jets pick? They really don't want to tell us, do they? They really don't. They said, fuck you. You don't need to know that information. Let's That's private. That's classified. Oh, we picked Nunya. Nunya business. Will McDonald the fourth, Iowa State linebacker. Cool. Dude, imagine having like four generations of the same name. Holy shit. You know? Oh, the, the That is kind of wild. Sap. Um one of my friends from high school is I think the fifth. Yeah. He's really? the fifth William and his family. Damn. Yeah. I knew a guy who who went by Trey because he was the third Will William. Oh, his, that's kind of neat. It was William. His dad went by Bill, and he went by Trey. Uh, yeah, Here the it Will is. I know his dad also goes by Bill. Nice. Ryoshima really Coast. It's beautiful. Now. It's beautiful. Oh, it's simply majestic and gorgeous. Oh my goodness. All the flowers. I hope I don't get another copyright. Oh, that's oh. the sunken ship. Oh. I know all about the sunken ship. Ryoshima Coast. Ryoshima Coast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I think music rules. Is that big? Seon City. How about we, uh, mosey on over? Another word we should bring back. Mosey. mosey. Yeah. yeah. Mosey is a good word, for the most part. Yeah. Still a little bit till the Vikings pick. There's still seven picks ahead of us right now, unless we trade up, which, like, I don't anticipate us doing. If we didn't trade up, 
We'll leave yeah, us is still on the at table. This point. Though the commanders might take leave us. <gasps> Carolyn from Survivor posted some pictures of uh, her house decorated for Halloween. Let's go! It's really cute. She's got a skeleton version of herself with her Survivor buff and everything. Does she really? That rocks. I love That's that. That's great. That rules. I've never met a survivor in real life. I've met someone who was on The Amazing Race before. But That's really cool. Yeah, I met a... It was Megan, like, Strawberry17, though. I met her, like, at a gaming oh, convention. Yeah. So, I forgot that she was on The Amazing Race because on I only knew seasons. her... Yeah, I I knew her, like, I used to watch her, you know, as Strawberry17, and I forgot that, like, oh, yeah, she also was on two, yeah. no, <laughs> like, so reality game shows. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I don't know why true. I said, I don't know why I said that. I've met Jatia. That's okay. I don't know okay. what I'm talking about. You're good. But, yeah. You got a lot going on. You're, you're focusing on the game. I'm focusing on the video game. Cut me some slack. <laughs> Keeping my eyes on the prize, my head in the game. Look, I met, I did not meet... Jatia under the context of like talking about Survivor. I met her no. under the context of we're at a nuclear conference and she is someone who like is uh, the chief science officer so like of Idaho National Lab. So I mean like you tell me. That's kind of uh, relevant to my research. We have visitors coming from Idaho National Lab to check out our lab in like a week. And I'm like, oh, I'm a little, I don't want to say paranoid, but it's like, oh my God, what if it's her? That would be really weird. That would be, that'd be like, oh. Uh, I would be like, whoa. Oh. Uh, hey there. Hey. We've met before at a conference. I have your card. You know, it's good to see you again. Hopefully I can tell you about my Academy of Zinc Telluride. I want to make a yeah. video about CZT and what it can do, but I want to title it Magical Crystals That Can Sense Energy. <laughs> I like that. Magical crystal, magical energy sensing crystals. Because it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's, it's just not, not wrong. magic. It's just like, it, semiconductors may as well be magic though, honestly. Like, semiconductors are weird. I don't fucking know how they work half the time and I work with them on a regular basis. Oh. That's fair. Now what's going on here? Is this a shortcut? Oh. Oh, this is a shortcut. Cool. Nice. Very cool. Slams head into gong. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Gives concussion. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Yeah, this is a shortcut between Agatha Forest and Ryoshima Coast. Cool. Sweet. Very nice. Very convenient. That way you don't have to go all the way through Taka Pass. Yeah, I am that, never that going to really Taka nice. Pass ever again. <laughs> Smell ya later, Taka Pass. Wouldn't See ya never. Be a... Certainly. Who wouldn't want to be ya? Yeah, you stink. P U. Ya ghoul. Ya fucking goblino. Goblin. Goblin. Ah, oh, man. I just had a flashback back to elementary school going over to the friend's house where they were playing this game. Aww. You know, like, I, it's kind of a, a weird feeling because it's it's a feeling that, you know, you'll never have ever again. Yeah. But... There's something... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go for it. Uh, I was just going to say, there is something really special about, like, being a kid and watching someone like watching a friend or whatever play you know play a game yeah absolutely just, like it's just a good it's a good vibe yeah it's just it's very strange because one of the kids he would 
whenever you got mad, he would take the controller and slam it down on like a coffee table and he broke controllers that way. Oh no. Well, what's this? The shrine? Enlighten me. Who'd the Patriots pick? Emmanuel Forbes? No. All right, who's yeah. this? Who's... That's who the that's who the commanders picked. Got it. Hello. Wow, that's some statue. All right, so no one's here right now. But I got an incense burner. All right, well, we'll come back here later. What if I blew out all the candles? I said, what if I blow out all the candles? They're gonna come back? Yep. <laughs> Pat's selected Christian Gonzalez. Which is good for them. It's too bad for the Vikings, but what can you do Aww. when you overperform and not that I'm saying that last season was bad, but like, you know, it's like, well, it didn't really set us up well for any uh, draft capabilities, and we are now going to go through a period of time where we aren't going to commit to a rebuild, but we need to do a rebuild. Uh. So, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Alright, let's... Oh, fuck, it's the fire lips. Hot lips. The fire eyes. Oh, Luke, you're playing... You're playing this game. Hang on, what if I did that? Or I used your friend against you. Mm. And then I just did... Together, I attacked you both. And I slashed you that way. Oh, look at that. Took some damage, but that's okay. That's okay. We're fighting the, the monsters from Orochi's place. You know what I'm saying? It's a little concerning. All right, lions on the clock. What are the lions going to do? Hmm. We are at 160. What does this bell say? And on, do not ring without reason. Don't mess with the bell. Well, I have a reason. Um, the reason is that I want to ring it. I'm bored. And it looks fun, and I'm bored. Well, I'm not bored, but like, you know. And it looks like a good time. Looks like a fun thing to ring. It seems like it was a good idea, you know? It seemed like a good idea at the time. I love that excuse. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It makes me question your ideas. Oh. 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 Hello. Home homeboy's just naked. Water dragon. I don't know nothing about a water dragon. I'm gonna save for what it's worth. I don't know why I would need to, but... Ech. All right, let's keep on keeping on. So, okay, what did this monk have to say? You got new shit to say to me? Practices monster subduing magic. Oh, there's been trouble in the Seon City, so we're gonna go have to get the priestess. I see. Hopefully this priestess is hot. It's the exy priestess. Yes. Yes. Hmm. What we do? Let me dig up a clover. Yeah. Clover. Oh, hi, Matt. Hi, Miss Wynn. Oh, what's Winnie up to? 
she's uh, click clacking on the keyboard and putting her butt in my face. Very sweet, very sweet of you. If you had the double jumping power, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're gonna get a double jump. Hmm. In a little bit, of course. Not yet, but soon. Very, very soon. This music is great. It really is. Very good, like, thematic music. Oh, yeah. And then I slice you in half. And then I... Oh, that didn't work. And then I slice you in half. Goodbye. That wasn't so bad. All right, let's feed you, you rabbits. Have some, have some herbs, you rabbits. You sink, you sinky little rabbits, you. All right, let's go to Seon City. Let's see what's over there. Hello, what do you have to sell? Yeah. Show me your fine wares, sir. Mysterious disease. Oh. All right. Let me sell you my wares. Give me money. Yeah. Uh, I should probably buy more exorcism slips. Not too many, though. Oh, I should have equipped the steel soul or the 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 strong power sake but um. i've never like really had to use items that much on this playthrough i mean beyond the orochi fight you know it's been pretty straightforward which like i appreciate i mean i don't know i'd I like that the game doesn't require me to use items, but it makes it easier if they do, you know? Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. I, I appreciate that about a game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I suppose I could fight those guys, but I I I I want to I want to I want to purify some land. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. Purify. Let's, let's let's go out there and purify some land. Let's oh, do let's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm hmm. All right. Honestly, like when I get another another level up for uh from praise and whatnot, I'm gonna upgrade the ink again because like. I have had minimal issues with health, but I've had significant issues with ink. So it'd probably just be better to, you know, do that. Yeah. You know, gotta, gotta keep ourselves honest. What do you have to say, sir? Animal lover, Inaba. Who is Inaba? All right, let's fight. Oh, we got a Zaparu. A Thunder Ear. Interesting. And then we just slice. And then we slice and destroy. Nice, I got a demon thing. Very good, very good.
Come on. I don't want to use my wolf foo. I want to merely attack. I want to I want to destroy as it as it were. You know? I want to destroy. I love the idea of destroy. Destroy good. Come on now, Ami. All right. That was the longest fight that didn't need to be. That took way longer than it needed to. But you got it done. At the end of the day, you got it done. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how long it takes so long as the job gets done. Oh man, we're we're creeping closer towards the Vikings draft pick. Ever so slowly. Ever so freaking slow. Like, I get it. It's it's gonna happen eventually, but it's just like, come on. Come on, Vikings. Make a good pick. Come on, Vikings. Make a good pick. Come on. That was fairly efficient. Just how I like it. Mm -hmm. Open the treasure chest. What do we get? More. Something good? I got a crystal. A magic crystal? I got a crystal that I could sell for Let's lots go. and lots of money. Yes. Money. I love money. This game is actually about capitalism. So true. JK. So true. <laughs> Why don't you, uh, get blown? Why don't you just, like, make, like, a tree and get Dutch Elm disease? Sorry, that's not a joking matter. My, uh, my no, no, you're Dutch good. Elm. You're good. I was just distracted. Sorry. My uncle was a Dutch Elm, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're spreading awareness in his honor. Yeah, I mean, I, he wanted me to do that as a dying wish. You yeah. know, when he got a bunch yeah. of beetles inside of him, he was like, tell them. I need you to tell them. And I was like, I will, uncle. Don't you worry. Yeah. Don't you worry, uncle. I will tell I'm them. I'm going to let them know. I will spread your word to the masses. And I will turn your corpse into a beautiful coffee table. Just kidding. That's too far. That's no, too far. it's great. That's too far. It's full of beetles. <laughs> mm. Mm, beetle coffee table. Yum. I think you, you just sprayed all over me. That's gross. You're sick. You're twisted. How dare you get out of my life? I took some damage. How fucking could you? Unbelievable. The dragonfly bee. Mm. Will Levis is still on the table. Pretty. <gasps> There's a cat. That's a cat, right? <gasps> is it? I hope so. It's a cat. Oh, <gasps> kitty cat, cat, kitty, kitty cat, a calico. Will Levis is still on the table. Probably not. Seahawks are probably going to draft. I'd be stunned if they didn't draft Levis. Well, oh, are there multiple cats? We shall see. Many <gasps> cats. Oh, and they're so happy. God fed them. Ugh. God bless. Ami bless. Ami bless. Ami bless. Yes. 
Ami fucking bless. Oh no. Not another. Well, that's a real problem. Let's just blow you away. Whee! That was pretty easy. You ain't that scary. You ain't that tough. Sucker. I ain't as afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I figured you out very quickly. So. Ooh. Seiyan City. I got Steelfish Sake. Uh -huh. I got other things. Mm -hmm. Seiyan City. What's over this way? More Ryoshima Coast, it looks like. Ooh. Daytime! Horses. Let's feed them. Let's feed the horses! Oh, we're at 250? Yeah, we're at 250. Let's go. Okay, let's get more ink. All right, and now we got a demon gate. <sighs> Hate these dicks. They all They're not dicks, silly. They're lips. Lips, dicks. All the same to me. Yeah. I'll cut them all down. They're the worst. You hear me? Worst foes in the game by far. Well, at least the Thunder Year went down very quickly. And then you should fuck right off. You hear me? Right off. Right the fuck off. I hate the the frost lips or whatever they're called. They're the worst. They suck. Yeah, these guys suck. They're tricky. But we uh, definitely beat the demon gate, so that's good, at least. Is that a mermaid coin thing? That's a fast teleport. Nice. Oh. Very good. Hello. You want to cross the border? You know about the moon turret? Master the jumping. Okay. North and the south. Alright, so we can't go to the north yet, but I imagine the north is... This is where we go after we do all the shit in Ryoshima Coast. Which, like, you know, makes sense, but... Can't go that way yet. Oh, there's another demon gate. Let's do that. I like going in and fighting stuff. Like, fighting in this game is fun. Ultimately, it's quite fun. Alright, here we go. Nice. Slice and dice them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the combat in the game is actually, like, just really fun and satisfying to pull off, even if it's a lot of just button mashing, you know? It's it's good. Yeah. Like, I, I really can't complain about it, which is a good thing. Like, every interaction has been more or less fun. I don't think there's been, yeah. aside from, like, the, the, the frost ears, you know, like, those are not as fun, but, you know, that's one monster. That's one guy. And I'm just gonna do that. And down you go. I love making Ami spin. <sighs> Come on, Seahawks. 
Fucking draft. Make a make a damn pick already. Make a gat dang pick already, Seahawks. What's taking so gat dang long? I swear, if they're getting a quarterback. They have 30 seconds. Let's put it that way. More. More money. Pick is in. Who'd they get? Uh... Seon City. Before we go up to Seon City. Oh, I can't dig there. Is there anything else going to be hidden behind the fence? I feel like there would be, but... Oh my god. Look at those fumes. Those green. Ooh. Someone is farting up a storm. You just know that it's someone's me. made... It's <laughs> me. Just kidding. You just yeah. know someone's yeah. made, like, a really bad comic about that. <laughs> like, For sure. Uh oh Oh no. Oh man, I'm so oh. embarrassed. Ami has to help the man who just can't stop farting. Yeah. Just gotta find a way to save him. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh -huh. They like me, even though I bite them. All right, let's let's figure out what the hell's going on in this putrid society. Ominous quarter. Oh, okay. They are not living large. What's with this funky looking mist? It looks downright hazardous to your health. I wonder sure if people can actually live normal lives in this nasty stuff. Can we purify the trees? Let's try. <gasps> no, you can't purify the trees. We're in hell. We are in hell. We are in Seon City, also known as hell. All right. I think since we've been doing this for about three hours and it's about 1030, I think it's about time to wrap it up because um, yeah. I got stuff tomorrow, but it's been good. Uh, let's, it has been good. Let's uh, do the thing where we see if there's anyone to raid tonight. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wouldn't you know? Shane is teaching about Blaze Blue. Oh, so well, Shane. there we go. Why don't we raid Shane? Let's do it. Or did I just close my entire Chrome window? I oh. totally just closed my entire. <laughs> well, restore okay. all 10 tabs, please. Please. Raid uh, Shane Val Shane. With the raid message, Ami Bless. Ami Bless. It'll be good. And we'll send you all that way, and it'll be nice and fun. So, thanks for tuning in. See you all uh, for Monday with more Bug Fables. Till then, bye. Bye.